Okay, everyone, all right, let's be quick. Where's that timer? Okay, I see it there. Okay, <laughs> the, there's my warnings. Okay, so some really quick context, co-founder of CardSwap. People think it was an online marketplace to buy and sell gift cards, but actually what we really do is we work with a lot of leading merchants to help them convert online consumers into offline shoppers. Um, so we work with some of the major brands, Canadian Tire, HBC, I saw Loblaw in the house, um, also Tangerine Bank and all that. And I'm gonna focus a little bit about just getting deals done because we're small and we, you know, when you think about the startup world, you go in and you're like, um, it's exciting because you're thinking about things differently. But inevitably, you cannot do it alone. You're gonna go out and need partners. You're gonna need customers or you're going to need, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is that they require. You talk to them, they're gonna love your energy, they're gonna love the way that you approach a new industry and say, you're thinking about this differently. You know what, keep me in touch. To me, that's akin to if you're in the dating scene and it's, you know, let's be friends. You, know, you, don't, you don't wanna be friends, you don't wanna keep in touch. You wanna get the deal done. So what do you do, <laughs> all right? I, I mean, you know, let's keep in touch is a kiss of death. So. Instead of that, when you meet someone and you talk to them, the first thing that you want to do is you want to understand they're looking at you and saying, okay, these guys are interesting, but they're de-risked. I got to, oh, I was being told I got to move. Okay, I'm moving. Um, when you want to de-risk it, you got to make sure that you look and feel like what they're comfortable with. There's, um, the easy stuff is make sure that your pre presentation, materials, and branding, all that is good. Everyone kind of gets that, and the reason I'm mentioning is because I think people overdo it. You don't need to spend so much time on your logo and making sure you have the absolute right font and all that. Go into Elance, get it done, forget about it. What I do is to get the deal done is once I talk to them, right away I follow up with an email and say, here is what I think the agreement should look like, here are our key terms. Once I get that done, I say, okay, this makes sense. I say, I'm gonna send this back to my council and we're gonna draft up a simple agreement. A lot of people, unless you're a much larger startup, are like, you don't even have counsel. Well, that's okay. You better find a really darn good lawyer. And the reason I say that is because you wanna control it first. So when I'm drafting an agreement, I wanna make sure whatever matters to me when I'm doing a deal, and that's it that I convey to my counsel. Number two is speed. Nothing kills a deal more than a loss of momentum. If your counterparts at a large organization, they've got a lot of things on the go and you're just a little drop in the bucket for them and they got to clamor for resources. If you can go and get them back a document within a week's time or less that's turned around and looks really professional, it's gonna be something that they're used to seeing and of a way higher quality. They're now saying, wow, this is good stuff. This is, no, you know, this is not some little kitty shop that, that doesn't know exactly what they're doing. Um, that's far more effective than having you know, really impressive business cards or other things with the right font or the Moo cards. I only mention this because I have a lot of people that come and tell me about, you know, I spent my time on this and what I gotta do. Get that done. The final reason why I talk about this is it's actually a really good litmus test. When you're thinking about this, it takes a huge investment on your end to go back to think about your lawyer that's charging you hundreds of dollars an hour what exactly am I gonna get, make them draft and what am I gonna make them do? So this is where you're gonna look yourself in the mirror and say, wow, I gotta think about why I want this partnership, what's gonna make sense and how to make it work. I find it actually very effective and it gets deals done a lot faster. That's been one of our success stories for signing up a lot of different um, companies and how we get it done. We don't wait for them, we take the ball and we run with it. I'm gonna run through the, the rest of them fairly quickly. Just uh, little learnings from the trenches. Capital, um, if you got all the high metrics and you're super high growth, go get the VC money and the angel money. Actually, my favorite way and the way we raised our capital is we went to our, actually our employees and then some of the people who wanted to be advisors became investors. To me, that is by far the best source of capital because you are fully aligned we spend money very judiciously and it's not like you're going out and going crazy with that. Just a quick two cents on when you're thinking about it, don't forget those two key things. And for clarity, when I say talking and going, getting funds from your employees, that doesn't mean give them equity. That means them writing a check. 
And when they write a check, they are fully invested and you gotta give them a really good deal because they're gonna make an awesome return on it. So don't be skimpy on that. Quick little things, just spending money. One of my favorite things is once a year, I treat myself to a conference. I make it an awesome one and you go alone. If you go with a team, you're naturally gonna gravitate to talking to your team and do all that. You're gonna get the most out of it going alone. Seth Godin, do the hard things first. This is how I schedule both my weeks and my days. Simple things. Think about what is the hardest thing, thing I want to get done. That's what I set for Monday and Tuesday. That's what I do at 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. when I'm thinking about what I want to focus on. What we do is tough. Have fun. You know, don't take yourself too seriously. You're always going to make mistakes. So, um, you know, coming from the McKinsey backgrounds and the P background, you could never screw up. Well, we screw up a lot, and it's okay. That's it. Can I get